My bad, storage. Okay, so, um, yeah, I told my mom about it. I'm not gonna sit here and say what her reaction was. I'm not gonna say if it was the right reaction or wrong reaction because I'm not on social media to put my family out there whether I speak to them or not. That doesn't matter. But I don't speak to anybody on that side of the family anymore. I only speak to, you know, my one side of the family and it's going to stay that way. Um, and that's for, you know, just mental health reasons. Um, I'm not gonna go into that though. Um, so yeah. So I basically just made this video, okay, to answer your questions. Answer, am I really a nympho? How did I get that way? Um, it's not easy. You want sex all the time, literally all the time. If your partner doesn't give it to you enough, like you start to pull away from that partner. Um, and a lot of people ask me, oh, you cheat because you're a nympho. If your partner pleases you how you want to and how you need to, no, absolutely not, you don't cheat. And if they're not pleasing you how you want to be pleased, then you just leave the relationship. Cheating is an option. It has nothing to do with whether you're a nympho or not. People, I need to educate people because a lot of people are so uneducated when it comes to this shit. It's crazy. But anyway, that's why you ask, right? Yes. Um, so... I mean, regardless, it didn't make me a weaker person. It made me who I am today. Obviously, like, you know, you guys can see the things that I'm doing here. Um, it made me stronger. It made me realize that you cannot trust anyone. Um, it made me realize that at the end of the day, you have to have your own back. And it made me realize that I could come up from anything. And I'm stronger than I think. You know what I'm saying? No one helped me through that. No one helped me through that situation but myself. But myself, I swear on everything I love. No one helped me about that situation but myself. And when it was brought up, it was brought up for drama. It was brought up to just, to, yo, oh my God, I can't even get into, oh my God. Anyway, so it's just, I've moved forward from it. I've grown from it. And I moved forward from the people, you know, that, Help me not heal from that situation. I moved away from the person that did it. I, you know, like I just pulled myself away completely and did everything that I needed to do for myself. And let me tell you, that was the best thing that I've ever done. I don't regret it and I will never undo it. Undo it. You know what I'm saying? Um, But if you are a victim of sexual abuse, um, if you were when you were younger, older, it does not matter. That does not define you as a person. You are not any weaker. If you are having weak moments, that is okay. And that is fine. Those are moments that you need to heal. You're not a weaker person because of it. You're not a hoe. You're not, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not, you're not any less of a being. I feel like you are more of a being because you, you pulled yourself out of that. You know what I'm saying? You're not alone. If you are younger, you know, you're a minor and you're in a household where you have to, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be, if you're dealing with something like that, you are not alone and I promise you will come out on top. Speak up. You know what I'm saying? Speak up. And even if you're, you have to speak up to someone that's not there for you anyway, you know, at least it showed how much they actually care about you. So when you do become 18, you could cut that person off. Okay? Seriously. Like... Love yourself. You're not any less of a woman. You're not any less of a human being. You, you're not that tragic accident. That's not you. You know what I'm saying? You're okay. Okay? There's people who are hypersexual and they've never been molested. You know what I'm saying? So, you're okay. It's going to be okay. My email is in my um, TikTok, I mean my Instagram bio. If, well, that's my business email, but whatever. If you need someone to talk to or reach out to, I'm here. Okay, talk to me. I will be a person to listen to you and talk to you and explain to you how I got myself through it. You know what I'm saying? While being near the person still. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was, it was hard, but I swear to God, you put your mind to it. There's nothing that you're not strong enough to get through. That does not change you. That situation does not define you. Do not become a victim. Okay? Sassy, come on, bruh. Do not become a victim. She's always attention. Do not become a victim. That situation is not you. You know what I'm saying? But that situation will become you if you victimize yourself. If you're always like, oh, why me? Why did it have to happen to me? I'm always going to da-da-da. I'm always going to be like this. Horrible shit always happens to me. Why can't I ever? 
No. Get out of that weak ass mindset. I'm so serious. That's a weak mindset and you need to get out of it. Do not make excuses for that other person. Do not make excuses for yourself. What happened, happened. And it is your responsibility now to move forward from it. And you can. I promise. I promise you can move forward from it and live a normal life. I swear. Okay? I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for listening. Um... Let me know anything else you guys want to know about me. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. Um, and just remember, you, as, you are as strong as you want to be. And situations do not define you. How you define you defines you. I love you guys so much. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.